You know, it's interesting, Zach. You got traded midseason, and when you did, I'm like, oh, my God, what a pickup by Arizona. That's incredible. He's been in big games. And I and so I always think when a guy gets traded, it's like, okay, you got to give him a month. You got to give him three weeks. And if I recall, first week you had catches, second week. Um, was the offense easy? Was it your years in the league? What made it so accessible to you to pick it up quickly and produce? I mean, I think first and foremost, I had a lot of people that helped me out. It wasn't like I was out here studying by myself. I had a lot of great coaches and teammates that would literally stay after with me um, and just be able to put in the work with me. And so it was um, not a product of myself. Obviously, I played in Philly on Thursday night. Uh, I flew Friday to Arizona. And then ever since then, I was trying to learn the offense. And then the first game was against the Texans. And then we played the Packers four days later on Thursday night football. Um, obviously, I feel like I've play, I understand schemes. It's, it's not like we're running anything that I've never run before. It's just the different names of formations, different names of plays. Um, so there's been a lot of help. It's not by myself. Uh, and it's been a lot of fun to be out there. You know, Zach, you're, you're playing with a quarterback now. The comp is Russell Wilson, where he's very good off script. He's very clever as a tight end. They always say tight ends are a, are a young quarterback's best friend, which you are, but he's a different quarterback. There's, there's not a lot of stuff in the world <laughs> playing like Kyler Murray. Is there, what's the benefit? What are the challenges to a highly hyper athletic mobile quarterback? Yeah, I think I think that is the what people on the outside how how they view Kyler. And if I'm being honest, that's how I viewed him before I came here. That he was a guy that made a lot of plays off script, um, that didn't play a lot from the pocket. And in my experience, he uses his feet as a luxury. He's not going out there each and every play, be like, "Hey, I'm a scramble." He wants to play football from the pocket. And I've been so impressed with him as a passer, being able to stand in the pocket and make plays. Um, as a true quarterback that I was not expecting when I got traded out here, if I'm being honest. And he is a great quarterback. He's a fun one of the, he's probably the most talented player I've ever been around. He, there's nothing on the football field he can't do, and he's a really good leader. So yeah. it's been a joy to play with him and with uh, Cliff out here calling the shots. Um, so it's been a lot of fun for me. You know, uh, Cliff is a, a fascinating guy. Uh, you're in a division now. You got, you know, you got McVay's an offensive guy. Uh, Kyle is, and Cliff, and they're all different. They're all totally different coaches. If I give me a little secret sauce, like how is Cliff different than offensive coaches you've had, Zach? Uh, well, I mean, I've had three really offensive coaches in my career. I've had Coach Kelly, Coach Peterson, and now Cliff. Um, and Cliff wants to – He's the, the offense is the most different than anything I've been a part of. Obviously, Chips was a little different, but Cliff's is just very different than anything I've been a part of, the, just in terms of formationally playing fast, putting us in positions to be successful. He solely believes in his players, and he wants us to go out there and play fast and put on a show, and I think that's why all of us love playing for him because he wants to score as many points as possible. He wants to put his foot on the gas each and every play and make the defense respect us, um, and so it's been a blast learning from him and just seeing how he dials up the games. Um, and he's got a really good feel for what to call, when to call during the game. Obviously, the game plans are great, but they don't really mean anything if you don't call it when, when they're supposed to be called, and he's been able to dial it up. He's got a great feel. Um, I think playing the quarterback position obviously helps him being a head coach coach um and so it's just fun to be a part of it we got so much talent on this offense we got deandre hopkins aj green uh kirk rondell moore myself and then you got a quarterback like kyler it's it's just a lot of fun yeah james connor the running backs as well it you know it, it is interesting that and you're not a selfish guy and i don't think anybody is but you have so many mouths to feed is do you think that's something kyler thinks about or is it here's the scheme here's the play here's who's open because there's an argument to be made that you have more elite players, including running back, tight end, and wide receiver, than anybody in the league. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a, that's a great question. I don't think Kyler goes into a game and says, hey, I need to get DeAndre seven catches. I need to get Zach six, AJ six. Um, the game is going to dictate who's going to get the ball. Um, and obviously, all of us are going to have plays going into a game. But at the end of the day, all of us have had so mu have had so much individual success elsewhere. Yeah. That the only thing the three of us care about is winning football games. And when I say the three of us, I mean myself, AJ, and Hot, because we've just been in this league for so long and had so much success elsewhere. And now we're coming together for an opportunity to to play for. Uh, into February, and that's all we care about. No one cares about whether either you have eight catches or one catch. Um, all we're focused on is winning football games, and I think that's the that speaks to the culture that they've built out here. 
You know, it's it's um, Arizona is a great uh, uh, home field advantage. I, I've been there a couple times. It's crazy. And I, I think this Ram game is big because the top of the NFC, Tampa's good and Dallas is good and Arizona's good. This is a big, big game. Green Bay, you do not have the number one seed locked up. You know, obviously you'd rather play at home than away, but talk a little bit about the value when you get into these big games, December and January, of playing at home. Yeah, I mean... It's a huge, huge advantage playing at home. Obviously, when we won the Super Bowl in Philly, we were the number one seed yep, and had home yep. field advantage. We, we had the bye. Uh, and obviously, home field advantage is huge. But being able to get the bye this time of year w- would be a game changer. I feel like all playoff teams, I don't think people realize how important that is. Um, you win one game and you're in the NFC Championship. And so, to us, none of that matters. It's down the road. we got to take care of business this Monday night. Um, against a really good football team. I know they lost kind of three in a row and people are down on them. But you look at their defense, you look at their offense, they got so much talent, Yeah. On especially on defense. They have three Hall of Famers on, on their defense. So it's going to be a great challenge for us. They're extremely well coached. Um, it's going to be a fun game. It's going to be a great atmosphere. These are the games. This is the games that why I wanted to come out here. Meaningful games in December, primetime games in December and January. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. Uh, of course, he he is married to a professional soccer player, Julie Ertz. So it's a Arizona is a nice place in the winter to be a professional athlete. By the way, um, finally, uh, you're a free agent after this year, and and I've always said I I, I think you guys all deserve every penny you make. Uh, I don't want to be tackled. I'm not tackled when I do my talk show every day. I have great respect for all of you. You're going to have money on the market. That's not a question. How do you weigh? I like my quarterback. I like where I live. The money's great because you're going to get offers, right? There's not many Zach Ertz on the market. How does that, at the end of a year, how, how much, does it take you a long time to figure that out? Is it a long discussion? Take me there for, uh, where does it land for you? I mean, I've been fortunate enough to play a long time in the NFL. Um, this is my ninth year, and I feel like I still have a lot of really good years of football left. And so the money to me, I've always said, it, has never been the most important thing. There's so many other factors to happiness and money is low on that list. Um, and so for me, I'm just focused right now on these last five games of the season going into the playoffs, putting on the best film that I can put on because I've always just loved the game. You know, people ask, why do you love this game? I say, I just love going to work every day. I love the process of getting better. That's the one thing about sports as an athlete. You're never going to be a finished product. You're never going to be a perfect player. There's always something I can work on. And so for me, just being around people that continue to help me grow in this sport is something that I love to be a part of. And these coaches here have done this um, since I've been here. Uh, the culture here is phenomenal. Obviously, the weather kind of speaks for itself. But when you find a really good quarterback, it's you, you really don't want to leave those guys. <laughs> That's uh, right. And Kyler, is de- and Kyler is definitely one of those players. So I'm not looking – at it at all it's not even in my thought process right now i'm just trying to win some games zach you're a credit to the game you're a great player gonna get a lot of hall of fame votes and i think uh, it's pretty obvious you got a lot of years left in fact right now you got 41 catches is that what it says let me see here yep you're at 41 you're probably going to end close to 60 or more another great year five tds already it's great seeing you again and appreciate it thanks Colin. take care hi everybody thanks for watching subscribe here to get the latest from the show Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.